I'm Bahar Tiktashian, editor at large at Shape Magazine, and this is our Fit and Famous series. Today we are here with the beautiful Charlotte Ross. You may recognize her from NYPD Blue, from Glee, and of course she's got an upcoming TV show on VH1 called Bounce. Tell us a little bit about it. It's about cheerleading team that's kind of like the Laker girls, but they're called the Devil Girls in LA um, for a basketball team, professional basketball team. It's kind of the behind the scenes political backstabbing of these cheerleaders and I'm the sometimes nice, sometimes not so nice uh, head that hires and fires and tells them to lose weight and work out harder. <laughs> and then Dean Kane is also on it. He plays the head of the, um, he's the coach of the, the basketball team. Well, Charlotte, we know here that you are a fitness fanatic and of course yeah. there's nothing that we love to hear about more. Tell us about what you do to stay in shape. Uh, I work out really hard. <laughs> um, you know, I kind of changed my body from what I had hereditarily. I really believe that um, if you eat correctly and, and work out, you can kind of have that body that you never thought you could have. And um, I've always loved working out mainly for how I feel emotionally and how it balances me out in terms of not getting as, um, my, my temper is less, not that I'm crazy, I'm, I can sleep better. Everything seems to be easier for me energy-wise when I work out. And um, I was kind of a cardio junkie and then I did a movie last year or two years ago with uh, Nicolas Cage where I decided for the first time to do full frontal in 3D and I'm wow. over 40. So I thought, first of all, I don't care what age you are, that'll kind of up the ante I mean, <laughs> in terms of working out. And I didn't have a trainer and I, I think trainers are really wonderful, but for me, I think a trainer is really great to educate yourself and to push yourself. And I educated myself with reading magazines like your magazine Thank and a you. lot of books and things like that, <laughs> which there's a lot to be learned out there. I would say a few things that really changed for me were incorporating weights into my over cardio. Um, weights really made a difference in terms of, I was afraid of getting bulky, the cliche we all think. Right, right. But it's really, it's really not true. And then what I would do is then change my diet and eat in a very healthy way. I'm a single mom, so I'm not depriving my body anyway. But our metabolism slows as we get older. Right. So to me, it was about how do I raise my metabolism in a healthy way. Now, <laughs> it's hard to believe that you are in your 40s. I mean, you look I am. phenomenal. And I own it. Yes, I'm actually much happier as I get older. So so tell us, like, what are some of your tricks to... My body's better than it's ever been, certainly. Well, that's fabulous. So what are some of your tricks to, you know, feeling your best and looking as amazing as you do? Oh, please, continue. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, you know, I drink water, you know, incessantly, which we all should. You can't drink enough. I drink green tea all day, but I drink decaf green tea, so you're not uh, jittery, getting too much caffeine all <laughs> yes. day, and that way you can drink it all day. Um, I make sure I have a lot of supplements as well, especially omega-3, and, um, you know, I just, I just don't prescribe to, just because I had a kid and that I'm older, that my body is going to be less firm. It's actually harder than it's ever been. It, it's hard work. I'm not going to say this because I'm laying around doing nothing. I work literally my ass off. And finally, yeah. do you have any you know, final motivational words to some of our viewers out there who maybe are stuck in a rut with either work or life or you know, maybe they're just not feeling good about their bodies? What do you recommend to them? Um, well, we can all relate to that certainly and um, just know that you need to do it for yourself and um, it's one of the most empowering things I've ever had, no matter what's thrown my way in terms of work or relationships working or not. Um, when I'm able to see the strength that you have when you're working out, you really have this feeling of, I can, I can make it, I can conquer this. And just dragging your ass there <laughs> is really half the battle. And if you can just get to the gym or get to a class, again, I think classes are great because you can learn from others and get motivation from others. Just, just get there and um, you've done half the battle and you're going to end up working out. For more celebrity interviews, workouts, and tips on shaping your life, go to shape.com slash videos.